Hi guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Clem by Sam. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe if you want new beauty videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And if you are already a subscriber, then of course, hi, welcome back. So glad you're watching again. So today's video is going to be a Sephora VIB still recommendations. And I'm not gonna lie, there is no Sephora where I live. But I still wanted to do this video because I have quite a lot of subscribers that are from the US. So I thought I'd still do this video. And if you live in Europe like me and there is no Sephora where you live or no Sephora VIB sale, then you can just take these as recommendations on which products I recommend and maybe buy them like at a different store when there's a nice sale. So before we start, I am actually wearing false lashes. I don't normally wear lashes, but I've been really kind of bothered by my like natural lashes because they're so straight, they're almost like pointing downwards. And even if I curl them, you barely see them. So I thought I would do false lashes for today's video. And the ones I'm wearing are actually these ones from Roxy and Revolution. I will link these in the description box because they are super pretty. I really love how they look. They're pretty long, but they are really gorgeous. And also I have a cold sore, so please ignore that as well. But without further ado, let's get into the recommendations and see what I recommend for the Sephora VIB sale. And my first recommendation is going to be something from Charlotte Tilbury. And this is actually the Hollywood Flawless Filter. If you watch my ranking my Charlotte Tilbury videos, you know that I rank this pretty high because I really love this product. I'm actually wearing it right now under my foundation. And I think it gives a really like gorgeous glow and it makes your skin like look super healthy. I personally have this in the shade 2, which is light, and I think this is the perfect shade. As you can see, the text has rubbed off a bit, but I mean, that's really sad. I mean, it is pretty expensive, so I was pretty sad by that. But the rest of the bottle was still like in good condition. And this actually has like a big doe food applicator. So you just like put this on your face and I usually just blend it out with my foundation brush and then I apply my foundation on top. Now this stuff lasts a really long time. The bottle is actually really big. I believe it is 40 milliliters. They also have this on the Charlotte Tilbury website in like a mini version. So if you don't want to commit to like the full size version because it is still pretty pricey, you can always get the mini. I think if the mini was available when I got this I would have gotten the mini because I use this product like pretty much but I don't use it every day so I hope it doesn't expire before I run out of this but yeah once again this is the Hollywood flawless filter and I think this would be such a nice product to pick up when you have a nice discount so I did quickly want to say that because I live in Europe, I can't even go on like the Sephora US website. So I don't know which of these products are exactly like on Sephora or which are in stock at the moment. So please ignore that. But I believe all of these products are available at Sephora. But if it's not, then you can of course buy them at a lot of different places. But then I have another Charlotte Tilbury product I wanted to show you and this is actually the Filmstar Bronze and Glow and this is actually the mini version. I believe I ranked this number one of my entire Charlotte Tilbury collection. But this is what it looks like. It's basically like a nice bronzer with like a nice highlighter. And the bronzer is the perfect bronzy shade. It is not too cool toned and not too warm toned. And it is just really pretty. And then the highlighter is a very nice like more subtle highlighter. So this is the mini version and it's like totally up to you whether you want to buy like the full size one or the mini version. I personally have quite a bit of makeup so I just went with the mini one. But if you like only have like one bronzer or something it could be worth it to buy like the full size because I love this product and I use this pretty much every day. So I think I'm definitely going to hit pen on this sometime because I love using this. Next, I wanted to talk about something hair care. I'm just showing this in like random order. But the products I recommend are the Olaplex products. Now, I love Olaplex. I've been using this for a year and it has definitely helped my hair. And I especially like these two. So this is the number six bond smoother. And then this is the number five bond maintenance conditioner. Now this product I use almost every time I shower. I had a big bottle of this. I ran out of this pretty fast. And then I actually won like an Olaplex giveaway. So I got like the little Christmas set with these like minis. So I got like the mini conditioner, which is already like half empty. And then I have this one, which is still full because this is actually a backup of my number six. Now this one you use in the shower and then this one you use when your hair is either damp or dry so you, this is like a leave-in cream and this definitely reduces frizz but it also makes your hair feel really soft and I love using this 
So I would definitely recommend picking them up in the Sephora VIB sale because you can definitely save some money when you want to buy this. I also heard the number three is really good which I still have to use so I can't really say if that one is like worth it but I'm definitely going to try that out as well and tell you if I like it. Also I have a video on this Olaplex number six and I will link it in the description box as well if you want to see like what I think of this product in like full detail but yeah those two are definitely my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale too. Then I want to talk about the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing right now. I don't know if you can see it because of my lashes, but I'm actually wearing the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette today. And this is a really gorgeous palette. I just did this really like soft look today and that is what this palette is perfect for. It is such a pretty palette if you want to do like a simple but really pretty look. And personally, I love these colors. It took me a while actually to pick this up because I always thought it was a bit pricey for like five hours eyeshadows but then I kept seeing like positive reviews on this and I really wanted to try this and I was super curious about this so I definitely don't regret picking this up and these are $25 I think to begin with but if you can get these mini palettes on sale the price is even better so I got mine on sale as well I think I got like a 25% discount on Cult Beauty with Black Friday was when I got this. So yeah that is a Natasha Denona mini retro and I really want to try more of her mini palettes. So then I actually have two products from Fenty Beauty that I want to talk about. So the first one are the Fenty Gloss Bombs. And if you've watched my channel for a longer time, you've probably heard me talking about these gloss bombs so much because I love them. They're my favorite glosses. So the one I have here is a full size one in the shade Fenty Glow. And then I actually have like four minis from like the holiday set. But the Fenty glosses are so comfortable to wear and they're super pretty. So I just love wearing this one on its own or like with a liner, but I also love wearing this over lipsticks. And then the other product from Fenty Beauty I would definitely get when it's on sale is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now I'm especially recommending the mini because this lasts so long. I was thinking about buying the full size, but then I was like, yeah, I'm just going to try it out first. So I ended up getting the mini and I have been using this almost every time when I wear makeup since July I think and it's still like halfway filled like I don't know how much product is in here or maybe I just don't use a lot I just use this all over my face like once a day when I'm wearing makeup but this lasts so long I'm actually like so surprised so I definitely recommend getting the mini instead of like the full-size version because I think the full-size version will last like years and it's probably expired by then so this is any shade butter and this is the perfect shade for my skin tone so if you have a skin tone like me then I would definitely recommend the shade butter and then I have two more products to show to you guys. So this one is actually a concealer and this is by NARS. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I have this in the shade Vanilla. Now this is actually the mini version, but this concealer is so good. I used to always use the Makeup Revolution concealer and I was always like, why would I spend so much money on a concealer? Then I got this as a gift, this mini one, so I didn't have to spend my own money on it. And I've been loving this concealer. I don't wear it every day because, I mean, there's not like too much in this mini version. So I'm actually wearing it right now. I thought I'd wear it to show you to you guys. But this is such a gorgeous concealer. My ordinary concealer can sometimes look a little bit dry, but this one never looks dry. It is just amazing. And even though it is really expensive, I find it hard to say that it is worth it, but I do actually think it's worth it if you want to have like a fancy concealer to wear like not every day, but just like on like special occasions maybe. I think if you use this every day, you run out of it really fast. I don't use it every day either. But if you can get this on sale, I would definitely recommend buying it when it's on sale so you don't have to like buy it full price because this is really expensive and it's always nice to save a little bit of money. And then the last product for my Sephora VIB recommendations video is going to be the Hourglass powders. Now this is actually the big Hourglass palette that launched for Christmas this year. I got this, I made a video about this and I love it. But I don't think this is actually available anymore. I just wanted to talk about the single like Hourglass powders. Now Hourglass is a brand that is actually really expensive. Their powders are I think around like 
40 or 50 dollars so definitely really expensive but they are really gorgeous now so I especially like the finishing powders and the blushes so the blush that I would recommend if you want to try a blush from our class is actually the one that is in here too and it is actually this one right here and this is called mood exposure I think mood exposure is one of our class like most famous blushes but it is just a really gorgeous blush I'm wearing this today and it's not like too bright or anything it is just like the perfect shade of blush and then for finishing powder the one that I really love is dim light now these are actually not setting powders because they're finishing powder but basically how these work is you set your face with like regular setting powder like for instance the Fenty one I just showed and then you can wear this finishing powder like on top of that and it gives the most gorgeous look to your skin it really makes your skin look like there's a filter on there so while I do think our class powders are really expensive, I do think they're worth the price. And I would definitely get them when they're on sale so you don't have to pay full price for them. Okay guys, and this was it for my Sephora VIB sale recommendations or just like general makeup recommendations. I will leave links to these products in the description box, but I unfortunately can't link them from the US Sephora website. So I will either link them from like the French Sephora website or I will link them from a different website. But if you are in the US and you want to get these at Sephora, you can just, I think, type in the name of the product on Sephora. I will put all the names of the product in the description box too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved sharing my recommendations and I always love hearing people's makeup recommendations so I thought I would do this video myself to share the products that I love. I did quickly want to say that if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you on my next video. Bye.